All right, guys, I'm going to show you all something cool. Right there, what you're looking at is a tankless water heater. 18 liters a minute, which uh, I believe equates to just over four gallon a minute. Um, and you can hear right there, it just cut on. As soon as, as soon as he started spraying with the hose pipe, it cuts on. And then as soon as he stops, there you go, it cuts off. Um, so you got your gas regulator there or your flame regulator you know minimum being the lowest max being the highest then you have your winter summer adjustment there and the summer uh when you swap it to summer it's 40 percent less of the burners uh so you save 40 percent of the gas but it's also you know not going to heat it as hot which you know in the summer makes sense we've also got a water regulator minimum is it restricting it the the least maximum is it restricting the most um i'll leave it on minimum so it's full flow my pump there does about four gallon a minute and i you know that's the thing is this wouldn't be an option for you if you do gravity fed um you're going to need a pump uh, to create some pressure and some water flow for that sensor to uh, to kick that on so um, It's a very simple concept and this runs on propane as you can see So you've just got your gas hook up there on the left um, By the way, it's got two uh, D batteries that and it's it's self igniting um, Then on the far right is my water input it comes from my pump there and then uh in the middle is the water line going out that right now i've got hooked uh to my uh what do you call it expandable hose thing that i like um and so matter of fact we'll try to show you i've got this little temperature gun and it'll take a second for it to heat back up Hey, spray that on the ground somewhere over there or something. You mean spray the water? Yeah, spray it. Just hold it down. I think it's on. Just keep spraying it. Yeah, it's on. All right, so what we'll do, I've got it. I've got the gas adjusted to where, um, let's see. So we're... You know, just shy of 90 degrees, maybe 85. Once it, once it, yeah, I'd say we're at about 90 degrees there, the actual temperature of the water. So once it heats up, because it takes it a second, but for the most part, it's it's instant. Oh, we're at 100 degrees now. All right, so let me, hey, let me feel it. Yeah, that's right. So that's, I just now put the gun on it. Y'all just saw it, um, but I did it by feel. And so I guess we're sitting at 100 degrees, which, yeah, that's about right. Cause we're about 96 degrees, our bodies. And so if it feels just warm to us, then, you know, that would make sense. Um, but I can tell you this thing uh, in the if you have it on the winter mode where it's all the burners are fired up and you've got it on max flame um, and if it's on the minimum water restriction which means in my case I'm getting a four four gallon a minute run through it um, it can get up probably about 110 I'd say um, so not too hot but if you like for instance um i was running it through the little sun joe pressure washer here that's only two gallon a minute and um and it it got up you know probably 140 and so i had to i had to turn it over to the summer mode because i don't want to run more than about 110 120 max because the seals inside these pumps are not not meant for high temperatures um they do make i think it was ar blue has a uh it's like tss hot or something they've got a little um electric pressure washer that's basically like this that um 
uh, has better seals seals in it to run hot water I forget what it's up to but you could basically run this at at max probably um, and and still be good so because the whole thing you know we're we're in December mid-December here in uh, just north of Nashville and like today we're in you know the 50 degrees mark um so this is this is nice i love this weather but you know this is not normal so um i'd say you know in the 40s would be about there and so uh i think it was last week we were doing some cars and it was like 38 somewhere in there and um uh and that's during the day and uh hot water is definitely a luxury you know to put in your bucket um to uh you know when you're washing but also you know hot water or warm water is more effective than cold water especially when it's like ice cold water which is is what mine was you know because it was getting down in the 20s at night um now i i kept enough if i keep about a quarter of a tank in there then like last year it got in the teens and um and it didn't freeze at least the whole thing didn't freeze so um but you know i mean that's very cold water and so having you know this this warm water is more effective um with cleaning power i mean your your chemicals that's just how it works is it's the same concept you know with steam that you're you know in a sense supercharging your i don't know supercharging but turbocharging you know you're getting you're getting some more effectiveness out of it when you're using warm water it just helps break down stuff better um you know i'm sure I'm sure most of you know this but so yeah right now i've got it running through the garden hose um but here in a minute i'm gonna hook it up to the the sun joe pressure washer which like i said is about two gallon a minute so what i'll actually do is i'll i'll swap this over um right now it's in the winter mode i'll put it in summer mode and it dials it back uh like i said um you know i'll i'll probably test the temperature on it but i was doing it by feel earlier but you know i don't i don't want it too hot because it'll mess up the seals and the pressure washer but like i said it's a very simple concept um you know this one is straight out of china this tankless water heater uh which by the way um i took it didn't come with those clamps there i went to ace hardware and just got some stainless steel bolts and clamps they've got rubber on the inside of them and made it where i can just hang it on the frame of my tank there but and i've got quick connects so i just real quick unhook it and I put that in my truck um, when I'm done done using it. Um, I just didn't want to leave it out. I did order a rain cap, you know, for that because at first I thought about leaving it, but if it's on there while you're driving, it's just it's going to be rattling around, and so I don't want it to mess something up. But um, not a whole lot that can go wrong with these things. Um, like I said, they're very simple, and so um for i want to say around 130 dollars i think so i gave it this thing which is pretty good for it being 18 liters a minute for it being able to handle four gallon a minute because the majority of them that i would see around that hundred dollar mark 150 dollar mark uh were the ones they make for camping and it would come with a little shower head actually this one did as well it comes with a little shower head um oh because it uh i had to get adapters it's got half inch pipe thread coming out on your in your water inlet and outlet so i put adapters on it to have a garden hose um, and then it's got a half inch on your gas inlet and i bought a uh, fitting to go down to that 3 8 flare fitting which is you know common with your your gas grills and stuff um, also i'll say real quick so at first when i was installing this so you've got the gas regulator here and this um you know it goes up to like 30 psi 
and when I first was trying to turn it on I had it like 10 psi and um, you know it just wouldn't ignite but I could smell the gas and so I turned it up you know and turned it up again turned it up again so I got to like 30 psi and it just would not light and it was real windy that night so I thought you know maybe that was it um, but as you can see I've got it to where it's like just a couple psi um, when it's static there and that was I finally figured it out and then it lit um, it's been a while since I've dealt with gas I didn't know that it it needed to be that low a psi but it makes sense um, so I definitely recommend getting you a uh, regulator you know if you're if you're looking into this um, I don't know how long uh, it'll run on a, a tank of just a regular tank of gas like this um, you know it obviously it completely depends on how much you've got it turned up and so you know I'm gonna try to get a an average of um, what it's working I can say this tank was about right there um, it was not a full tank when I hooked it up last night so um, it definitely hadn't used that much but I, I just got this a couple nights ago so I'm kind of excited about it um, you know I'll make an update video about it if I can remember um, and as always if y'all have any uh, questions about it um, leave it down below uh, see I had I had a uh, electric heater um, that I was putting in my tank and I was running off of my generator and um, I think it was like a thousand watt and it just it took forever it really wouldn't get the water above like 70 degrees if I had you know a half a tank or anything um, I don't know if something was wrong with it because it said it could get up to 130 degrees um, it never got you know anywhere close to that so um, that was just inefficient and um, this I think is is more efficient this is is better for me so uh, I like it so far but yeah if y'all have any questions leave it down below in the, the comments and uh, I'll be happy to answer them and uh, other than that till the next one y'all either be good or be good at it